Tween Beginner Embroidery Workshop, Video 3. Hi tweens, welcome back. Last few times we've done the running stitch, the back stitch, the split stitch, and the chain stitch. First today we're going to do the star stitch. The star stitch is uh, made up of several uh, short stitches that cross over each other to make a star shape. You're going to start by going doing a vertical stitch and as usual you want your stitch lengths to all be the same and you're starting by just holding the back down. So I'm going to go from bottom to top. Then as if I was making the letter T I'm going to cross it going from left to right. The direction doesn't really matter here, it's up to you. You want to try and make it centered. I didn't do such a good job here. And then I'm going to go from the bottom right to the top left. You'll find you'll get into a habit of going in one certain order. And then I'm going to go from the bottom left to the top right. Like so. These are great for snowflakes as well as stars, um, the centers of flowers. All right, let's do another one. Top, uh, bottom to top. Cross the T. Try to make sure your stitches are equal length. This is the hardest part about that is making sure you've got your equal length, but that's just practice. Bottom right to top left. And bottom left to top right. And there you have your star stitch. You can um, finish it off in the back just as usual by sliding your needle through the floss in the back of your work and trimming the excess. Next up, we're going to do a cross stitch. Cross stitch is one of the most common types of embroidery there are. For example, um, this uh, cross stitch corgi that I did. Um, you see it everywhere and there's lots of fun and quick uh, crafts that you could do with cross stitch. So it's very popular. Cross stitch, uh, you'll use two of the stitches that you used in a star stitch to make a cross stitch. It's like making the letter X over and over again. You're going to start by pulling up your thread, making sure you have a tail at the end, going from the bottom left to the bottom right, to the top right, sorry. And then back down and across that stitch to make an X, going from the bottom right to the top left. Now there's a couple different ways you can do a cross stitch. You can do it like that for individual stitches, or you can do a whole row of them at once by moving from right to left and then back again. So in, I'll show you this one by going from the bottom right and then again to the bottom right. I'm going to do three in a row here. And then once more. And then you go back the way you came, crossing over. Mm 
like so. This is useful when you have some patterns that call for filling in large areas. You can work pretty quickly. Again, consistency in your stitch size is important. Trying to keep everything the same size. Uh, it's easier to keep it in a straight row when you have um, doing cross stitch on a special fabric. Um, this kind of canvas is, is called Aida fabric. Um, and uh, it's easier to make X's on that. All right, so our last stitch now is going to be the French knot. French knots are good for the centers of flowers, um, uh, doing eyes, nose, lots of decorative things like that. So I've done a couple here. French knot, you're going to start as you usually do by coming in through the back. But this time you're going to loop your floss twice around your needle. And then when you reinsert it, you're going to be very close to, but not in the exact same spot. So just next to the spot you came up through. And then you're going to pull your thread down and it will create a knot. We'll do this a couple more times. You're going to come up from the back. easier if you pull most of your way through and then wrap your floss just twice around your needle and go down next to where you came up and pull through and it should create a knot now it's easy to get your needle and stuff caught on that so be careful when you're moving around it as you'll see here I catch my needle on it and start to pull it up a little bit so pull it up Wrap it around twice. Down next to where you came up. And through the back. French knots are fun. They can be used for all kinds of neat decorative um, designs. We'll do one more. Make sure you could see how I wrap it around the edge of the needle. Try not to poke yourself. Down next to where I came up from. And pull through. There you have it. A French knot.